skin care. We are back to business tips, as I promised you guys. Lots of business tips is coming you guys' way. And we're going to talk about lotions and creams today and some ingredients that I use in my creams and my lotions to make them non-greasy, okay? This, 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 this one you may know about. This two, I don't think you know about it yet. And even these two here are awesome. And not, I don't see many people using it. But I'm going to tell you how important this last two is and how I use it for my personal lotions. For my to use for my family. So the first ingredient we're gonna talk about is cornstarch. So cornstarch is excellent to add to your creams because it takes away that greasy feeling. It kind of absorb the grease and well actually the extra grease and it just leaves the right amount that you need based on how much how you make you you recipe so if you put a lot of oils in your recipe you want to add like two or more tablespoons of cornstarch but if you add more butters then you want to add a little bit less because you don't want it to become too sticky if you put too much of this it's going to become very very sticky and that's not what you want okay so just remember that the next ingredient is glutinous rice flour. Now this is amazing. I think it's better than the cornstarch. I find it is much lighter and it's much easier to work with and it makes things very fluffy. You know, like when you put it in your creams, the creams become very fluffy. There's something about the glutinous rice flour that makes, makes it very, and it gives that silky feeling to it. So I like glutinous rice flour. And if you guys have never used this in your cream or your lotion, try it. It's so good. It's very similar to the cornstarch. But it just makes things much creamier and much more silky. The next ingredient that I want to talk about is just plain old rolled oats. And you want to get the fine grain oats. These ones is the best one in my opinion. It's easier to grind, it's easier to blend. You want to blend this into a very fine powder. Then you want to sift it using a strainer. And then you're going to get this fine oatmeal flour. And then you add it to your cream, your butters, or not your butter, but your cream or your lotion. And this is amazing. It gives a very nice texture and it adds a kind of depth to the cream and it's very silky so i love to use that so these are my three favorites to use for my creams that i sell online i use these a lot i don't use all of them together but i usually use one, two together it depends on what creams i'm making i might use this two or i may use this one or this one so it depends on the cream um, I would not recommend that you use all three of them together unless you come up with some kind of recipe and you know exactly, you know, how it works. Because if you add all three of them together, you're not going to get the right consistency that you like. It may cause a problem, but you can try anything that you want, whatever you want, whatever works for you. All right, so these are the three. Now, these here, it's a little bit more expensive ingredients. And maybe you will go for that, maybe you won't, because you know it's a little bit pricey. But I use these personally for my family. So this is the rye flour, and the other one is sprouted spelt flour. Now you can buy both of them sprouted. So that means they take the grains and the grains are sprouted. And you know what happens when grains are sprouted, okay? They become filled with nutrients vitamins like triple so this becomes a very very nutritious grain and then the grain is dried and then it is grinded into flour and this is excellent for your gut but it's excellent for your skin because whenever things become fermented it forms something called lactic acid and when you put lactic acid on your skin or lactic acid goes into your intestine it just does amazing stuff for the body. Putting lactic acid on your skin helps your skin to fight the bacteria because the lactic acid itself 
will stay on your skin for a period of time and it will fight bacteria that comes onto your skin. So it acts like a protectant, like on your skin in a sense. So lactic acid is a very, very good for your skin. Uh, I, did, I read a study that says that the lactic acid, it kind of eats up any bacteria that comes on your skin. So isn't that great? It's amazing. It's great. So this is great to use in face scrubs. You can make face scrubs and put on your face. It just makes your skin so smooth and you, you just feel amazing. So all you have to do is mix it with water or you can add some clay, whatever you want, and you can make some beautiful face scrubs. You can just create your own face scrub, but it's amazing in creams and lotion. You, you don't need as much as these. You just need like, like one tablespoon or half a tablespoon in your lotions or your creams, like the water-based creams and lotions. And it's amazing. The cream is very smooth. It's very silky. But the benefit that you will get from the cream and from this, it's so much, much more better than this because this doesn't have really any benefit except the oats. But this has, the health grains have so much benefits because it's been sprouted and it's been fermented. So guys, let me know if you would try sprouted felt grains in your lotions and if you do try it let me know what you think and also if you use any one of these things in your lotions and your creams let me know also let me know which one do you prefer do you like the cornstarch more the oats have you ever used gluttonous flour if you use it let me know and these ones i know you guys don't use it so if you do use it please let me know